I'd like to welcome Sophia King to the programme. Sophia, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. And you've been playing for how long? Six months. I think you started way before I did, so hopefully you'll be far better than I ever was. Well, that doesn't take much doing. What are you playing now? Are you on cornet? Third cornet. Third cornet. And what got you into the band? My mum and my sister joined, so I wanted to join because I like music. But did you have to wait? Yeah. How old were you when you started wanting to come? Sort of five, six years old? Four. Four? Wow, that's a great ambition then to want to come and play. So eventually they let you come. I guess you have to have your teeth in place and everything, don't you, before you can, yeah. you can really start. Oh, that was always a thing for us. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah, is it everything you thought it was going to be? Yeah. What's the best thing about coming here? Meeting new people and playing music. Yeah. What's your favourite piece? Jurassic Park. So you like the big film music and all that sort of thing? Yeah. yeah. Well, look, you're right at the start of your playing career and you're doing really, really well, I know, because your mum's told me you're doing really, really well. But it's lovely to meet you and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you, you know, working your way up through second corner and solo corner. and maybe mm. won't be that long until you're in the senior band. Sophia, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. And now let's talk to someone who has been on that journey. Charlotte Conacher joins me. Welcome to the programme, Charlotte. Thank you. And you're sitting on the principal cornet chair today yes. uh, with the training band. Mm -hmm. So just tell us your story about absolute beginner to uh, band superstar. <laughs> so I started with the band in 2020. I think I must have been 12 and mum brought us along. She saw an advert on Facebook because mm -hmm. I'd shown an interest that I wanted to start learning an instrument. And she brought us along to the band and it was just like a warm welcome. They were eager to have us. It's been onwards and upwards from then. So when we came back after COVID, it was about a couple of months and then I got moved up into the training band and I played on third and second cornet in the training band. And then 2022, I got moved to first cornet in the training band that's like skyrocketed my yeah. improvement and then in Christmas of 2022 on Christmas Eve Tracy told my mum that they wanted me and her to go into the into the main band and mum was gonna wrap the contest music up for Christmas so on Christmas morning <laughs> I could open it up and she'd like tell me but she was way too excited so when I got back from work because I couldn't attend the concert that yeah. they were at she like presented it to me and I broke down in tears and I was oh. so happy that they'd seen an improvement yeah. in me. And then I played my first contest in March of 2023. And you've gone on to the principal chair in the training chair. band as well. Yeah, yeah, me and another girl, we sort of swap and yeah. change and I love it. It's one of my, like my Monday, my Wednesday, my Friday nights, yeah. the highlight of my week. I've had a really bad day at college. It's yeah. like... I get to come and I just get to be, yeah. Everybody in the band's just so lovely. It's really nice. It's very much like a family. And yeah. I just love that fact that I've got two really good friends. I consider them my best friends from it. So, yeah. And like you say, you've had lots of musical challenges thrown at you, you know, with starting contesting and having to play yeah. solos and things like that. Has that made you really ambitious now to see how far you can get in, yeah. in music and in brass bands? Yeah, I'm quite a competitive person, just as, like, my brothers and my sister were really competitive with each other. And I think it's just being moved up and shown that I can actually do it. It's yeah. really driven my passion for music and just wanting to get better and being able to pass on my knowledge. So, like, I help in the beginner's band to just help the beginners yeah. improve and get to where I am now. Well, I'm sure your musical career will go from strength to strength. Yeah. Charlotte, lovely to talk to you, and great to hear you playing today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dave Green, welcome to the programme. How do you do? I've been told to interview you as an adult learner. I think that's a, a very pejorative term because I think we're all learning. <laughs> some people better than others. I think some people would say I'd never gone beyond that stage. <laughs> but actually, in your case, you did come to music even, not just brass bands, but playing music quite late in life. Yeah, I'd always liked brass bands and the sound of brass bands and I'd always fancied learning a new instrument. Yeah. At the time, I just felt I didn't have the time. And then my circumstances changed a bit. I'd been spending a lot of time with my mother, who unfortunately died in 2019. 
and the kids had gone to university and I found I was getting a bit more time. I was coming up to retirement but I was yeah. still working but I felt the opportunity was there. And I saw that Swinton were having an open evening so I went along to find out a bit more about it. Introduced to Steve, <laughs> he said, what incident would you like? And yeah. I hadn't a clue because, I mean, my experience of wind instruments was basically the obligatory recorder when I was when at school. When you were at school, yeah. That's right. He said, well, how about the euphonium? So he presented me with this instrument. After huffing and puffing a bit, you know, I eventually managed to get some sort of sound out of it. And I thought, well, yes, OK. And from then on, I joined the beginners group. Yeah. In January of 2020. Was there a little cohort of you? Did other people come yes, from, there were a few from the people same from, evening? from the same evening. Yeah. Was, so it was nice to be together with like-minded people. Although now, I must admit I was the oldest one there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Now I'm just doing the maths. January 2020 wasn't the best time to get into something, was it? Well, three months later yeah. in March, COVID hit the country and suddenly everything came to a bit of a standstill really as far as rehearsals and practising yeah. Did you keep practising or were you like me? I just threw mine in the box and waited for it to all end and sat there complaining about the Chinese government. Yeah, Stephen and Tracy were very good. They provided us with some sheet music and yeah. we were able to just carry on with the basics of playing. But it's not the same when you can't actually no. get together no. in a rehearsal. Yeah. So there is a, let's call it a career path, if you like, here at Swinton. It is mapped out to help people to become better players and to eventually work their way up. And you've done that, haven't you? you sort of worked through the ensembles. Yeah, I mean, the support and encouragement you get, it's amazing in the band. I get a lot of support from the more experienced players. Yeah. And it really helped me progress from the... Uh, beginners to the training band and now I'm in the um, senior band. So you've hit band. the big time, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah so very daunting at first, it was a big step, to, big step to take and I'm still finding my feet and getting used to it. But the first public event we did was quite a special one for me, it was at Filey Bandstand in September. My mum had loved Filey and yeah. she loved brass banding and um, she would have loved the idea of me actually playing in a band. So it was a great event to do. It was a glorious day, sun shining, blue sky, calm sea, loads of people out in deck chairs listening to the music and uh, it was a really special event and I really felt as I was actually playing for my mum as well. Um, so it, it, it was a good event. So, big ambitions for brass banding. Will we see you with Black Dyke any time soon? I think it might be a while before then. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. I'm getting a lot out of it. It's really good. And that, of course, is what it's all about. It is, yeah. Dave Green, yes. lovely to meet you. I'm really glad that you've taken up brass banding at whatever stage. It doesn't matter. And oh. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thanks very much for oh, talking to us. Thank you very us. much. Thank you.